So here's a quick method of generating some sonic artifacts that I've been using recently. So that's to use Splitter to split apart tracks. Now, the cool thing about Splitter is um, the, the models that it uses are trained on like traditional instruments. So as soon as you start throwing things like electronic music and non-standard instrumentation in, you get some really interesting results. So I will start off with a track or it's, it's like a, it's a whatever. I don't want to use it on anything. I am stuck with it. I need to generate some ideas. So this is what it sounds like. So yeah, I'm just going to chuck that in Splitter. Now, I've got Splitter installed on the command line. So I'm not going to run you through how to do that. Check the uh, check the official documentation on how to do that. But there are also websites available where you can, um, yeah, have the website split your tracks apart for you and then you download them. And um, there's heaps of them around. So, yeah, just a, a Google search will find you a whole bunch of places to do that. Anyway, so I'm going to take this track and split it apart in the command line because that's easier for me. I've set up a, a custom command to um, split this up so I don't have to type in a huge string of things every time. I could do the quotes properly, that would be helpful. And we'll wait for that to complete. So this is being split using the um, the five uh, the five track model. So you'll end up with five tracks, uh, five split tracks um, when this is done, but there are other models that split into four and two. So that should be in here. So we've ended up with five tracks, bass, drums, other piano and vocals. Now this is where the fun begins because in the original track there was zero bass, drums, other piano, vocals. Um, we're going to get some weird results. So for example, let's listen to the bass. Pretty garbled, pretty garbled compared to the uh, original bass. So that could be that could be fun to pitch around to distort. You could do all sorts of things with that. Um, listen to the drums. Now already that's sounding interesting, like that's in incredibly spectral. That could do really well layering up with, um, well, normal drum samples that are like <laughs> more grounded in reality, um, as in, you know, less spectral with more body to them. Um, yeah, there's, there's heaps of stuff that could be done there. Um, I mean, that in itself could be cut up for samples, uh, little glitch samples. Now, these are my favourites, other piano and vocals, because usually um, piano doesn't pick piano out very well. I mean, obviously there wasn't any piano in the original track, so there's nothing here. I'll get to that later. But um, other, is, other is interesting because just random stuff ends up in there. So that, that seems to have ended up being most of, well, the synths and a few of the drums and stuff. But often you'll end up with um, sections that can be made into pads really well. I mean, you could just take something like this. And because it's already split spectrally, um, using the complex warp mode should work really well.
anyway, there, there's lots of stuff that you can do. Um, vocals is also interesting. I mean, there's a lot of crispy stuff that's turned up in this um, that can just be throw some distortion on it, throw some OTT on it, and you've got a whole new set of um, glitches that you can use in your track. Now, this is the fun part. So nothing has showed up on the piano track, but it is technically lying. So what you can do is increase the gain and uh, consolidate that, then increase the gain again. And surprise, there is a bunch of stuff hiding in there. Now, these are like real artifacty. Um, for example... So there's some real good gl uh, good glitch material in there. You know, just throw some OTT on there, some distortion, play around with it. There's there's heaps of stuff you can do. So all in all, like if you're stuck, like just consider just throwing your entire track into Splitter and splitting up and seeing what you can find in there. Because often, like just listening through this kind of stuff, you can generate some new ideas for yourself. Yeah, so hopefully you find that useful. And um, I hope you generate some cool stuff with it.